Hello everybody, welcome to our fabulous new two Red Robins launch of The Perfect Picnic. Here we have some idyllic little rabbit characters that are all, would you believe, on a picnic. Now, as always, when we, delete, when we um, produce our new collections, we give you different options of how to actually achieve this. So we give you the Minecraft Studio, we now bring them out as an SVG file that works with our fabulous brother Scan and Cut. And you also get the die format as well. So we're giving you all of these three elements that you can bundle together. Links will be down below. Um, and also they work independently. But the, the super thing is, is to be able to work with them together because they all just go hand in hand. So firstly, um, if you're wanting to know if it's the very first time you've joined us with this, we do have... Um, instructional videos on our YouTube, Highlight Crafts YouTube page of how to scan in, group and align your reflections and also how to do that again with the reverse reflection. So have a look on there if you haven't done that before. The link will be in the description of the video for you all. So and it's super easy. Um, but I just want to just show you, quickly show you, this is what the reflections look like. Aren't these beautiful? So one thing that you will notice when you print out the reflections with the SVGs opposed to the dies is that black box. And that is what we're talking about when we're scanning in an alignment. But that is all in the video that you're going to have go and have a look at it, that link. So just click the link. It'll take you straight there. At the bottom, you will always get what the collection is, who the lovely characters are, but this is really important because with our SVGs, you also get three different sizes. Now, whether that be original. Now, if it's the original one, there's no size on here. OK, the size only appears if it's different from the original, whether it be smaller or larger. But you will always get the three. So you get the original small and large or you will get the original large and extra large, totally depending on how the, the dies work. And then also at the bottom, it will tell you whether it is the normal reflection, the reverse reflection, or if it's the decoupage or reverse decoupage. OK, so all the information will always be printed on your reflections of your SVGs, which then help us navigate around the USB. So I'm just going to uh, get my stylus and we'll have a little look how that looks on the machine. OK, so on here. I'm going to go to retrieve data. So retrieve data and I my, all mine's on the USB. So I'm going to click the USB. Mine's got a few pieces on here all, already, but I want the SVG Perfect Picnic. Open that up, then go into Perfect Picnic and it breaks it down into folders every step of the way. So here we have our lovely characters. OK, so let me just click on Chomper. And then it gives you the detail cuts. So these are the pieces that you would find with all the details. I'll just quickly open it up so you can see what it actually looks like. I'm just going to go into the normal one. So press OK and I'm going to enlarge this. OK, so sometimes when you're working with them, you will need to group them to enlarge them. OK, so I'm just going to make this bigger so you can see what I mean by the detail cuts. So that has got all those lines in that you would normally find if it was a die. OK, but that would make a beautiful drawing. So that in itself is fabulous as a drawing file. So let's go back, retrieve into my USB uh, SVGs. Perfect picnic and let's go back to Chomper into the reflections and then we've got the large original and small. Now the reflections, I'm just going to click on it so you can see when you break it down, it gives you DEC means that that is the decoupage element and these are your normal reflection cuts. And as you can see, we put as many as we can on that sheet for you. OK, and there is the black box that is printed on your reflection. So that is the piece that we use to align and just go back one more time just so you can see. We also have when we open the folders. 
We have the detail cuts, the matte cuts. Now the matte cuts are just exactly that. They're just the matte layer. So on our dies, very often, nine times out of 10 or nearly 100%, you will have a matte layer and that's what that is. So you get the details, mattes and reflections and all the sizing and everything is exactly the same on the mattes and the reflections, okay? So let's have a little look at something that I've already cut. So I went ahead and actually cut out some of these lovely little characters. Now, one thing that I've um, loved to do is do the books and the journal pages. So over in Minecraft Studio, that, um, that is the Minecraft Studio element of the collection, I've gone ahead and I've created myself a lovely background to enable me to sit all my characters in, okay? But you can see here, this is really some, I'm super excited about this. This is part of a paid download that you're gonna get with elements to create those scenes and make them just really super special. So that's what I've done in Minecraft Studio. And that also is on our YouTube for you to go back and have a little look at. I'm gonna cut this down because this is gonna go into a book. Now, oops, no bin. We have got some fabulous A4 spiral bound books and they really are fab, just, they're just super. So I've started creating a book of all the projects that I'm making. It's almost like a little bit of journaling or art journaling that a lot of people like to do. So I'm gonna build a little scene, put my characters within this scene. And then what I've done in addition to this is I've gone ahead and printed it again on acetate. So once I've actually put everybody within the scene, I'm going to score down the side and overlay this over the top. So it creates like a window and then you're going to be able to see the characters below. So first of all, when we go on a picnic, as a general rule of thumb, we'll have a little blanket, okay? So I'm gonna situate my little blanket in place. I'm just going to grab some of my tape and what I'll do is I'll kind of build it and then we'll start putting everybody in place. Now, you're going to get nested elements and you're going to be able to get reverse pieces as well. So I think I've got another one in here that's a reversed basket. Anyway, but it doesn't mean there we go, got the reversed one. So we'll have a couple of picnic baskets, like so. We've got our fabulous little characters. <laughs> he's bringing the strawberries, so he's been off to the strawberry patch and he's bringing the strawberries. That is my decoupage layer for my lovely little lady. There we go. So that is going to sit on here. You get the right one. Basket is in the other hand. There we go. So that's the little decoupage layer for him. That's my whole little one that's going to go there. I have a little bit of decoupage for the basket. And then the other characters that we have, of course, we've got a gramophone, because why wouldn't you? You just have to have a little bit of music at a party, don't you? And this could be exactly that. It's a little party. So I've got my gramophone and my gramophone decoupage pieces. There we go. And then in addition to that, I have got Chomper, and he is adorable. So I've left him as the green element on this one. And then we do have a little bit of decoupage for Chomper. And then we've got the swing. So we've got lots of characters going on here, haven't we? So I've got my lovely little characters on the swing like so. There we go. So 
So you can really tell lots of stories in this one. And this is going to be what I'm actually going to place in the book. So just by laying it out and thinking about, I've already gone ahead, I've chosen everything that I wanted in my little story, but there's an awful lot going off here, isn't there? So this is like, you can imagine the music is playing. So I'm gonna tuck that behind. So now I know where I'm going with everything. It's just a case of sticking it all down and being able to align those characters and put them where you need them to be. But that super images in the background and obviously we're, at, we're being able to build all of these and the Scan and Cut's done everything for us, which is then also super exciting because it means while we're doing all the building, the Scan and Cut has done everything else for us. So my lovely little rabbit friend, like so, and I'm going to place some of these in situ. So she's got a little basket posy. And you don't always have to glue everything down because your little characters are going to be the pieces that will hold. So you get more, um, I like to leave things not all stuck. You've got movement with what's happening. So again, took that basket in behind there and so it's super easy and really quick to build up these pa pages so like I say the books are fabulous so it's a little bit of journaling maybe you have been on a picnic so again placing them if you place them and tuck them behind each other you're actually creating that definition, even though this is a totally flat image, okay? So there's nothing here at all that has got much to it. It's just got one layer of decoupage on many of the items. There's very little depth to any of, any of this, but the placement really does mean quite a lot, okay? I need to snip off some of my picnic basket so I can get my actual gramophone where I need it to be, like so. Okay, and then last few elements. And then the main piece where I've got more decoupage than any of the others is that lovely couple on the swing. I've even got my little bees in the background. So if you want to see the background, that's on the Minecraft Studio piece. So now I'm actually going to tuck that even in there. No, I want it at the front. Changing my mind. Like so. And then finally, let's put this lovely little couple in situ. Okay. I've actually torn that as I've moved it, but that's not a problem. Aren't these just adorable little characters? And especially this one with the two on the swing. This, I think, is going to be used lots and lots. And again, as always, if you've got the full package and you've got the Minecraft Studio, you have also got all of the colourways that you need for these characters because we've put them all in there for you. So if you don't want the ones that have got little blue tops, I think there's some in there that've got little pink tops. And then also there's the option of drawing these little characters. And when you've drawn them, colouring them in yourselves. Because that really does make a difference. I just want to put out a little tiny bit of glue like so. Pick the glue up because I just want to mend my swing because I pulled on those pieces while I got them out the bag. 
like so. And then I'm going to put these two together like this. A little bit of glue on here. A little bit of glue on my character at the back. And then these can nest in the background. And they're on the lovely swing. Like so. And that has put all of those characters in place. And it's told a fabulous little story. So now we've finished that. Remember at the beginning when I told you that I've done it on acetate. This is now my overlay. So I'm adding all of those lovely, look at that. So the flowers are all going to be, I'm hoping the camera can actually pick that up quite well. So all the flowers are then now in front of the lovely character. So to do that, quick scoreboard. And again, when this is in situ, in the book, so glasses on. Oops. And I can bend it backwards. A little bit of tape on the side. And then when you open the book and you come to this page, that will have this lovely overlay over the top, like so. So it's almost another page, but it puts all of those lovely florals and grasses in front of the image. So thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, like, share, give us a thumbs up on our YouTubes, and we'll see you all again real soon. Bye. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below, and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video, or click here to see more videos like this one.